Thou ever see me do such a trick? <clears throat> when a man's servant plays the curve with him, look you, it goes hard. One that I brought up of a puppy, one that I saved from drowning when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. I have taught him, as one should say, even as one should say precisely, thus I would teach a dog. I was sent to deliver him as a present to, master, to Mistress Sylvia from my master. And I came no sooner into the dining chamber, but he steps me to her trencher and steals her capon's leg. Oh, it is a foul thing when a cur cannot keep itself in all companies. I would have, as one should say, one that takes upon himself to be a dog indeed, to be a dog as it were at all things. If I had not had the wit upon me to do, to take the, if I had not, the, if I had not had more wit than he to take the fault upon me that he had done, that he did, I think verily he had been hanged for it, surely he had suffered for it, you shall judge. He thrust me himself into the company of three or four gentlemen-like dogs under the Duke's table. He had not been there, bless the mark, a pissing while. But all the chambers smelled him. Out with the dog, says one. What care is that, says another. Whip him out, says the third. Hang him up, says the Duke. I, having been acquainted with the smell before, knew that it was crab, and goes me to the fellow who whips the dogs. Friend, quoth I. You mean to whip the dog? I married you, I, quoth he. You do him the more wrong, quoth I. Twas I did the thing you wot of. He makes me no more ado, but whips me out of the chamber. How many masters would do this for his servant? Nay, I'll be sworn I have sat in the stocks for puddings he had stolen. Otherwise he had been executed. I have stood on the pillory for geese he had killed. Otherwise he had suffered for it. Thou thinkst not of this now. Nay, I remember the trick you served me when I took my leave of Mistress Sylvia. Did I not bid thee still, mark me, and do as I do? When didst thou see me heap up my leg and make water against a gentlewoman's farthing girl? Didst thou ever see me do such a trick? When a man's servant plays the cur with him, look you, it goes hard. One that I brought up of a puppy, one that I saved from drowning when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. I have taught him, even as one should say precisely, thus I would teach a dog. I was sent to deliver him as a present to Master S I was sent to deliver him as a present to Mistress Sylvia from my master. When a master's servant plays a cur with him, look you, it goes hard. One that I brought up of a puppy, one that I saved from drowning when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. I have taught him, even as one should say precisely, thus I would teach a dog. I was sent to deliver him as a present to Mistress Sylvia from my master, and I came no sooner into the dining chamber, but he steps me to her trencher and steals her capon's leg. Oh, it is a foul thing when a cur cannot behave itself in all companies. If I had not had more wit than he, to take the fault upon me that he did, verily I think he would have been hanged for it. Sure as I live, he had suffered for it, you shall judge. He thrusts me into the company of three or four gentlemen-like dogs under the Duke's table. He had not been there, bless the mark, a pissing while. But all the chambers smelled him. Out with the dog, says one. What care is that, says another. Whip him out, says the third. Hang him up, says the Duke. I, having been acquainted with the smell before, knew that it was crab, and goes me to the fellow who whips the dogs. Friend, quoth I, you mean to whip the dog? I, marry do I, quoth he. You do him the more wrong, quoth I. Twas I did the thing you wot of. He makes me no more do, but whips me out of the chamber. How many masters would do this for his servant? Nay, I'll be sworn I have sat on the, in the stocks for 
puddings he had stolen, otherwise he had been executed. I have stood on the pillory for geese he had killed, otherwise he had suffered for it. Thou thinks not of this now. Nay, I remember the trick you served me when I took my leave of Mistress Sylvia. Did I, did I not bid thee still like me and do as I do? When didst thou see, when didst thou see me heave my leg up and make water against a gentlewoman's farthing girl? Didst thou ever see me do such a trick? Heave up my leg and make water against the gentlewoman's farthingale. 